One town is cracking down on alcohol at school dances. This weekend, new efforts will be put to the test when administrators require students to use a breathalyzer before attending tomorrow night's homecoming dance. Eyewitness News reporter Marilyn Scherer is in Portsmouth now with the latest information for us. Mike, Portsmouth High School is quiet tonight, but tomorrow night is homecoming dance, and no doubt this place will be rocking. Now, there's a new policy in place, which some consider the first test of the new school year. Portsmouth High School's homecoming dance Saturday night will feature a little something different when students arrive. For the first time, students attending the dance will undergo random breathalyzer tests. We passed policy that allowed the random screening of students as they enter the dance. School committee chairman David Croston tells Eyewitness News Tuesday's committee vote to conduct the random breathalyzer tests was unanimous after a study showing student alcohol and marijuana use dramatically rises by the time teens reach high school. We looked at the senior class. Uh, roughly about between 63 for females and 70 percent of that senior class were, had used alcohol in the last 30 days. Crossan says there's been little pushback over the testing from parents or students, mostly because neighboring towns have more stringent testing. Parent Greg Riley agrees with the breathalyzer testing. I don't think they'd be singled out. Uh, it probably is necessary. There's a lot of underage drinking. There's been a lot of accidents. Kids die at that age, and um, that's certainly a concern for all parents in the community. I guess it. Now, Crossland says the substance abuse and data report was sponsored by the Portsmouth Prevention Coalition. It surveyed 1,200 students back in February. He says they do plan on doing this testing again. He says the goal of the testing is to help teach and learn more about alcohol and drug prevention for both students and educators. Reporting live with the Mobile Newsroom, Marilyn Shara, Eyewitness News.